Hello, friends of Komodo platform, friends of Pirate Chain. Yes, friends of crypto, friends of price charts. I'm E. Giuliano. It's the 31st of July. The month is coming to a close. Sharing my screen now. Let's take a look at price charts. I hope you're doing well. Maybe you're watching this at normal speed or 1.5, 1.75. Maybe you're one of them. Either way, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking the video. Hit that like button while we get set up here. Nice. And thanks for all your comments that you make. Now we are looking at a $41, $42,000 BTC. USD price, 41,936.35 on this price chart at this very moment. But we came here for some KMD. Let's take a quick update and then we'll take a quick update with our pirate chain price. So we remember all of this, yes, if not referred to previous couple few videos for KMD, let us hide you for now. Whoops, we don't wanna just get you gone we want to get you gone that way all right and we had this trend line we'll take a look there but this is a weekly chart for the kmd btc price and let's see what do we got here uh, we are only on saturday so i'm not sure how relevant this is yet because sunday will make a difference so uh we're not going to comment on much on this yet okay that's what we're just going to do we're going to look at it look at it there it is okay for now we'll come back to that we want to look at a month yay there's a month whoa look at that wick the wick is bigger than the candle so let's say from top to bottom from sorry whoops from bottom to top uh open to close it's about 13 percent including the wick it's another whoo it's another 60 odd percent so it's about 75 total ish not counting the wick below interesting 85 so 85 up roughly from that bottom and boom 34 back down interest all right so there we are and that on the month so this is roughly going to close around here we are 2335 utc time so there you have it uh, that it looked like you said, like, well, like you said, like I said here, it looked like this up and down movement on the month. Let's move into the daily price. Here is where we can start to form a bit more of an opinion. Over the past four days, the pa the price has found some some really nice support here well you know the candle even had a wick but you get a nice move up off of that support and so now we've got a, a, a trend line basically so we're looking eventually to come back to the trend line but it would be nice if we could get above this previous level here at the 1930s okay uh, if we could get into the 2000s up to about 22 2150 uh, that would be a good accomplishment before returning back to the trend line and uh, if at all and then going further uh, now if we don't return to this trend line that would be great which would mean this could be an, a new impulse that we're taking likely into oof, what are we going to say here this is a daily so uh let's imagine an extension of the previous move oh let's just go from about here oops no, a little higher, but anyway, even from a lower level, yeah. So three thousand is your one six one eight to about four thousand, and you know from the three thousand to the four thousand, there's it's the recently most recently has been just a big move down. So, and even here, yes, there's a rejection, but it's all the way up here. So it's been an up, a down, and an up. So a down, and when we come here, it's an up. So I'm saying we go probably to a two six one eight, if that's the case, and if we're measuring, you know, from about here wick times then yeah we're looking at a 1618 all right so that if this is a new impulse then yes bring us 1618 at minimum um 
And that would mean that we're into a bigger cycle of, uh, of up movement overall, which is nice, not compared to the previous though, because we're, we're still way low compared to the previous cycle. So what we're looking at here is possibly a, a first wave of a bigger degree, either that or you know what, the way that the, the let's call them uptrending bull markets and downtrending bear markets, the way those work on the alt BTC pairs like KMD BTC, well, at least historically has been, uh, you get your pumps when you get them and you get your dumps when you get them. So you get your pumps when you get them and you get dumps when you get them. So now we're looking for pumps. And in this pump, we're looking to match, like we've said before, into this, you know, roughly, eventually, uh, we're looking to get to this about uh, 5,000 to 8,000 level here. Uh, anyway, that's another story for another day. Okay. So that's the thoughts on the KMD price. We're looking good, but we are eventually going to make a retracement. But that's probably going to be, um, well, that likely could be when either BTC finds its retracement or when um, uh, when when BTC finds some strong pump up. However, now that we're starting to break above, like we're trying to really push through this intermediate zone here. You see that intermediate zone here between, uh, well, basically 1950 and, and 2050, uh, up to the 2150, We're trying to get there. Then we've got an exit zone here of resistance. So overall, this is not necessarily uh, going to be straightforward, but from where we are here, it would be nice to get higher into the 2000s of Satoshi's before we start making the retrace uh, at all. So let's see what can we can get in this coming week. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be important. And based on that weekly candle that could be shaping up, then it could be looking all right. And uh, a flat BTC USD at this time, uh, or flat and down, could be in the favor of the alt prices because then the overall market cap could also go up and that sort of thing. All right. That's the idea on the daily. And uh, for those of you wanting to see some other indicators, let's bring in the Bollinger's starting to narrow. What we want to do really here is get above this. No wonder we're seeing resistance here at this zone here. This is this 20-day moving average. We want to get above that and then find some, some way to, to impulse up. Okay, that would be great. And then Ichimoku, we have our resistance here. So really this impulse up uh, is going to be an impulse that brings us strongly into the 5,000s or at least, no, you know what? More likely it'll just find, yeah, because the C wave. It'll find its resistance somewhere here uh, around this Ichimoku upper end here. It could eventually break through uh, and it would be expected to. And in the previous video, the, the words were, the, the time frame was something like October as a potential. And uh, yeah, that could make sense that we could be breaking up to these levels by October and then coming back down. This is possible, um, but that, that's, that's neither here nor there at this point. We're, we're still so, so early on right now. And this thickness of the cloud is, is, is somewhat daunting. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we could be spending plenty of time down here figuring things out first or like within the cloud as well, trying to figure it out, break, trying to get up of it. All right, that's a daily time frame. But yes, we do want to consider um, a little bit our lagging indicators here. It was just a quick little red. Let's see if we're getting back how much into how much into the the green histogram territory. Um, we're also going to watch you know what's happening RSI wise. We have plenty of room to go. Really, the big danger is if we make a lower high. That's really what we don't want. Ultimately, what we really want, even if we get rejected at the cloud, we want to be making higher highs. We want to get to this 200-day. We really want to get above the 200-day and, and support it. That's when we'll start to see more bullishness. And I, I believe it's coming. I do. I really do. I really do. This is a daily. This is a daily price chart. So we're starting to see one like this. So I'm hoping to see another one like this or something like that. You know, it doesn't even have to be that big, but what we're seeing here is this rounding here. So let's just even pull it over to the side. Can't pull over any farther. So, you know, get one of these types of ideas. And then, yeah, that's pretty good. 
and then let's make a, a, a move back up to more reasonable levels for such a crypto price chart. All right, and then you'll see that on the uh, on this level here, we will be making one of these here. You see it, right? Yeah, you already see it. You already see it. Another one of these here. Okay. Awesome. Let's get it. That's fun. Let's see if it happens that way. Again, 50 50. Spin of the wheel, roll of the dice, turn of the card. Alrighty then. So that's the daily price chart. Uh, yes, fine. We can look at the four hour. Why not? We'll make it a bit of a longer video already, didn't we? I use the word we, I mean me. Inclusivity. Beautiful. Well, really though, on a four hour level, I'm glad we, we took a look. Uh, sorry for all the noise. Let's get rid of some of it. Okay, this is for us, special times. You can always refer back. Um, yeah. We've got a nice, okay. We're gonna just get rid of you zone, okay? It's fine. Uh, we've got a nice action here. We are coming upon this resistance, but yes, I do feel like we can move up above this cloud. So we are coming to a point where we will, we will challenge at least the previous highs, but I do see, let's take a downward trending line and we are broke, we are broken the line. Okay. Uh, roughly if we're taking closes and if you, whoops, let's move that out of the way. Pardon my situation. And if you weren't really want to do it that way, then you're, you're telling me we what we broke it a long time, you know? No. So yeah, it's fine. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. Go for it. Either way, uh, out of it to the upside. So good, good on the four hour level. Um, and also, so we're going to get rid of that. Also, uh, we are now above, firstly, it's like low, higher, low, let's make a, a next higher low with a higher high. So that means we need to get into this cloud. Otherwise we're matching this and then we're coming back down. It could look something like this. Definitely could look something like, like that. Um, that's what's happening there anyway, but anyway, what it is though, is we are above, you see this horizontal line is above this price support and even, you know, this price levels. So it's, it just needs to hold that and get above into the cloud and we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Now, having said that, we start looking at these suckers. Yeah, we can go higher, but then we're looking at possibly, uh, losing some of that momentum, right? Mm -hmm. And the last time it was there, we, well, maybe it'll get higher and get more bullish and we'll get a higher high. That's what we're really looking for. And then we can consolidate correct, corrective phase. That's fine. That's all good. But uh, bring us into a bit of a, a bullish scenario here where we make some, even some divergence uh, over here on the RSI, making higher highs and, and lower highs, that, that would be fine, just fine. It's a four hour chart. That would help us to move up higher on the daily. Um, one thing I'd like to see for the daily price chart, which it looks like it, it has the potential to do. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that we are I'm going to test the upper Bollinger Band and it's going to be at this 22 to 2300 uh, Satoshi level. I don't know when it's going to be, so the band might come down to about this 2250, 2285, 22. 90, so it's about, let's call it 23, okay? It's 2300 level. That's what we're looking for here uh, to move up. And yep, yeah, there you go. We'll be back for a weekly candle in the next day or two, all right? Take care of yourselves on the KMD price charts. Now, those of you who wanna see some fire chain action, take a look at this. Here we go. So in the pirate chain price chart, 
couple things is daily price chart using the KuCoin price data. So we had this uptrending movement broke down here when we we had some support, uh, sorry, some resistance here. So a uh, downtrending line, but was broken uh, nicely. And now we are finding some further consolidation a couple days. Uh, so yay, that's great movement. So one thing I wanna consider when last time we were talking around over here and then it broke through and then we we're talking over here. So we've been basically monitoring this. Um, one thing I'd like to mention here is we are out of Bollinger Band, now back in, but this daily candle is a nice pause candle. The overall trend and momentum is higher. Therefore, this pause candle tells me we are possibly reversing this down movement back for a higher move. If if the overall trend was down and we had this type of pause candle even on an up move, I would think that it would be the opposite. So, so in this case, I do see this as a potentially reversing situation uh, in the next day or two, whatever's gonna happen. And then we can move higher. Alternatively, we've finalized our current move up and now we're looking to come back down again to these 8,000 8, Satoshi levels. All right. Either way, we are near the end of this current short-term impulse, but who knows how high that could take us. Because you see, one thing I love about the pirate chain uh, candles is they get huge. They really get big and they stay big. Pirate chain uh, price candles, they, on a daily basis, they can be big. And yeah, sometimes there are, there are wicks, uh, you know, here, here, whatever. But yeah, you see what I'm seeing too. Nice big candles. Now it also happens on the way down. And therefore, now this is financial advice as usual and DYODD and all that good stuff. All right, so looking like we're, we want to make it a move higher, a closing starting to break through the 9,600 Satoshi level into the 10,000 Satoshi level is the next milestone. One thing I wanted to note is this, what I didn't point out previously, I believe, is this interesting formation, which could be considered a cup and handle, and then boom, fireworks, right? You see that action? Good. We're gonna move it into a, a four hour price chart just for funsies to take a look at that closer. And I do wanna acknowledge uh, four hour time frame for being able to carve out a different, more, how do you say, a more detailed picture when we zoom in. And there you have it. Do you see it? We're gonna remove the noise, but I uh, just wanna point out, we moved our way into the cloud, finding resistance, but we're getting good support, Bollinger Band support, this 20 period Bollinger average. Now, if we can't keep supporting it, you know we're done, we're down, okay? And we're coming back down and maybe even out of the cloud. Otherwise, this is good support. And that is a good potential for a higher move, okay? Let's get that. Woo. Glad to check you out. Thank you for our Bollinger Band. Now, Ichimoku, thank you for showing yourself as well. We're exiting you. Now, this previous support zone here, you've served me well. My heart is jumping for joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll continue with this trend line. It will be important for the, the next little while at least in terms of when we start coming back to it. See how we are away from this mean. So anytime, this could be the top. This could be a four hour topping right here and we could be coming back down. Uh, however, that, yeah, that that's why we're gonna need to really watch that 20 period uh, moving average within the Bollinger Band uh, to see. But either way, we're either done topped or we are making our final move and then we'll have a bit of a topping, it seems. And in that case, once again, yeah, we're, we're looking to move to about 11,000, maybe get rejected. All right, be well in that sense. Uh, however, 
Let's just quickly line it out. Yeah, this looks like a one, a two, a three, a four here in our correction. So, and also let's just do a brief little review here. We, yep, we're doing the fib extension. We're gonna compare the one wave and the three wave. Yeah, it's more than, than one, six, one, eight. Okay, interesting. And we'll place the candles to see if there's any discrepancies. Yeah, okay, cool. All righty, that's interesting times. Feels like we need one more wave. Let's get that next wave for our price chart. And in terms of MACDs, ooh, look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are close, we are close. Maybe it has happened uh, or maybe we are going to make one final turn and maybe it'll also be showing us the divergence Okay. Um, yeah, all right. Same thing with, with the RSI. Well, RSI has room to, to continue higher if it wants, but it's been up here. Uh, so let's see, let's see. This is gonna be interesting for our price chart in the next little while. Which would mean on the daily that this were a this would be a, a bit of a local top and we would see a further correction uh, shaping out. All right. Well, that's about it for our BTC. And then let us take a look at our USDT levels for the KMD pair. Whoa, mama. Yeah, there's not a lot of data here for this data for the K of the USDT on the Binance, but anyhow, we are looking at 80 cents, nice. And it looks like it's ready to, to pop out. Looks like it's ready to pop out. We're gonna get rid of you. You've given us the resistance that we were looking for back here. Congrats, thank you. And now Bollinger Band, yes, give us some up moves. Ooh, it feels like it's coming. So a dollar, like we said previously, into the even up to a dollar fifty, but intermediate stage at about dollar uh, dollar ten to dollar twenty style. Anyway, woohoo! Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. It feels like it's coming. Here we go. Yeah, interesting. And with the that's why even the pirate chain it, it seems like it it seems like it's just going to continue a bit. Here's the four hour price on the our USDT, uh, finding some support again at that Bollinger Band. So let's look for a higher move. And on the daily, it's just been following that BTC price. This is kind of toppy, but it's also kind of just uh, consolidating and waiting. It's just waiting, um, pausing. Okay. However, the RSI is either gonna start doing some sort of bearish divergence or whatever, but this is a daily price. So yeah, it could hang out here, but look how fast it's gone from bottom to top. It's just been a matter of a month, right? Less than a month, 20 days. So we'll see what happens. This could still carry on for a week or two where the, the price continues higher and get some divergences or whatever starts happening. All right, cool. Very good. That's about it for now, friends. It looks like, uh, well, things are feeling good, looking good. Uh, hope you're still doing well, take care of yourselves. And I will talk to you again on the next one. That's, for, that's it for now, love, peace, happiness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Go get it, goodbye.